I am Baldy. I have lived 300 years and I long to pass on. But death is no longer possible. I am immortal. I present now my story, full of mystery and intrigue, rich with irony and most satirical. It is set in the possible future, so some of these events have not yet occurred. But they may be warned, lest you end as I. In this tale, or should I say, undertale, I talk with Sans the Skeleton and ask for his hand in marriage. And then my magic ruler rips a hole on the space-time continuum, and we start to meet some colorful characters along the way. Merlin is my hero. I am the Puppet Master. I will manipulate many of the characters and events you will see. But I'm invented too, for your entertainment and amusement. And you, poor creatures, who conjured you out of the clay? <laughs> is God in soul business too? Hey, welcome to Undertale, Baldy from Baldy's Basics. Wow, isn't this super crazy? What the heck is that? That's a tree. Wow. And what the heck is that? That's the sky. So, is this it? Shh. Oh, I know they're filming, but is this really what we're supposed to do in the video? React to things that we find unfamiliar? And why should I be surprised? I saw the title. We're in a Buzzword Bobby video. The entire point of this is to shamelessly pander to the lowest common- Hey, hey, shh. We already have the entire Final Night Quadrilogy to make fun of these people who milk these franchises. We don't need to preach anymore. They got the point. But, but I was gonna- Well, at least I could still cause some trouble here. And that's my brother Papyrus. Ah, wow, I'm reacting so good. Hey, Baldi, I got something you should react to. Undertale's secret boss, so sorry. What? Just check up where his origins are from, and then we'll talk about having a reaction. Oh my gosh, it's Steve from Minecraft! Does anyone know where my pickaxe is? Wow, that's wacky. That doesn't belong there. <laughs> <laughs> no! Guys, do something interesting with your platform! Oh look, a square! I like squares! Oh man, that is so funny! <laughs> <laughs> Guys! Do you realize what type of video we're in right now? We're supposed to be passive aggressive! You didn't get that impression? Yeah. I mean, this is the only way any animator can get seen on the internet nowadays. But why did we have to do it in such an insulting manner then? What else are we supposed to do? Educate them about 15th century Russian iconographers? <laughs> <laughs> Andrei Rubliev is one of the greatest pieces of cinema that has ever graced the silver screen. Handled with care and supervision by the great Russian filmmaker Andrei Tarkovsky, known for his highly influential critical smashes like Solaris, The Mirror, and Stalker. It is shown depicting the story of the 15th century Russian iconographer Andrei Rubliev, as he struggles not only in his faith in God, but his faith in man. The film is a thought-provoking journey, talking about what is morally right and what is morally wrong and how that might be subjected depending on person to person. Do actions justify themselves? If someone goes against your own beliefs, does that give you the right to go over theirs? And how do you express it through your artwork? Do you use fear-mongering to sway your opinion? Do you dehumanize the person in question? Or is it made to inspire? Are you talking about the movie, or are you talking about me? Well, that's what I got out of it. Huh. <sighs> Look out, there's a creeper in the house! What? Wow, that was quite a good April Fool's video, wasn't it, Inspector Gadget? You can shut up now. What is the point of the Minecraft references? Well, Minecraft animations are usually heavily criticized for being shallow pandering. But didn't you just do the same thing? Well, come on, I made it very obvious what my intentions were with the video. Just because you're self-aware doesn't make the flaws go away. Instead, it points them out to be more glaring. Come on, Inspector Gadget. It's all about expressing your creativity. But you're just copying different characters from other franchises designed by somebody else. Seems more like monkey see, monkey do than using creative energy, if you ask me. Oh. 
So you think you can do better than me, huh? Well, I'll have you know that animators have a real tough time surviving on this website. I told you to shut up, but you didn't listen. And no, I'm not touching that Chromebook. Disgusting. Come on, Samuel, let's get out of here.